is the situation uh, in your country uh, about the corporation ANI and um, what are the expectations that you have uh, about the summit here in Rio? Yeah, my name is Godwin Ojo, Environmental Rights Action Friends of the Earth Nigeria. Uh, the activities of oil companies in Nigeria have been devastating the environment since 1956. Uh, as we speak, gas flaring, frequent gas uh, oil spills continues unabated. Uh, Shell, other multinational corporations, especially any uh, Italian based oil company is one of the culprits that is devastating the environment of the Niger Delta. Uh, for example, they don't care about the future, they don't care about the people. As we speak, any Italian oil company is using gas from the Niger Delta to produce electricity for their facilities. They are using gas to produce uh, energy for the national grid. But the local communities where this gas is being taken are frustrated. They are excluded from the benefits from this electricity. And this is causing violence in the Niger Delta. And we call on any to adhere to the standards and to uh, carry out the promise which, which they have promised the people that they will take gas from there. But beyond that, it is time we begin to push for a new energy future, the democratization of energy that will ensure that local parameters of energy production is in the hands of local people and not in the hands of corporations. This is why we have come to Rio, to make this democratic process known within regions and within peoples that live in secluded areas. Uh, I think the debate is going to be robust. Will the policy makers listen to the people at time we tell? But now, based on the text and the negotiation that is going, expectations are very low. In fact, so far, it is zero expectation.